Good morning, Mallards. It is Tuesday. Christopher and I are taking a walk so that he can get some coffee. And I don't know, maybe I'll get tea. I have no idea what's at this coffee place. <laughs> uh, but we are participating in the eternal debate, which is if the beach is public property and the hotels are private property, what about this beach walk strip that is in between? Who owns it? And the answer is maybe a nonprofit <laughs> that is private, but also we're not sure. It's just no man's land. Coffee has been achieved and I found postcards. And now we're at the beach where the tide is very high. <laughs> very high. It might come get us all the way up here. The waves almost got us uh, and they, they caused these tiny crabs to come out of their little holes. They were like, oh, oh, things are happening. Yeah, you get whatever it is you're trying to get, little crab man. We are now taking a beach walk and uh, we passed the craft fair again, which Christopher and I went to the other day, but this version has a lot more booths and a lot more people than it did the other day, which is interesting. Yeah. We have to take the walk all the way from our hotel, which is uh, way down there, where those white umbrellas are. Actually, past those white umbrellas. All the way up here. This little rock outcropping. And apparently Black Rock is on the other side of this. We are taking our walk back along the beach and it's windy, but it's gorgeous. Look at how pretty. I don't know if you guys know this, but Hawaii's pretty. I just fed brine shrimp to a piece of coral and, and it's gonna eat. So it's right in there. Those are the little shrimp. That is the little shrimp and that's the mouth. I, I don't know if it'll get it this time. It's opened its mouth a couple of times. Being a coral must be exhausting. <laughs> There's a lot happening here, but it has trapped that okay. shrimp. And now it's gonna it's gonna suck it in. That's so cool. After a brief afternoon break for me to do some Phoenix Tears work and write some postcards. Uh, we are on a lovely walk to, what are these, Dragon's Teeth? The Dragon's Teeth. To the Dragon's Teeth, which are a rock formation along the coast. And on this uh, beautiful trail that butts up right next to the Hanakua, no, Hanakahua, Hanakahua, I think, preservation site, which uh, is an ancient, Hawaiian native burial ground and ceremonial site. So no going that way. That belongs to people who are not me. Uh, but this path is open to allow people to get down to the Dragon's Teeth. So we have made it to the Dragon's Teeth. There, there they are along the edge here. They do like, like the Teeth of the Dragon. And you can see some of the paths of the lava tubes. It's really cool. We're not snorkeling today because of how rough the water is, but look at it, it's so pretty coming in. <laughs> I love it. windy on this side of the island now that we've sort of come around although it'll get more windy probably as we get to the edge uh, but it is too rough for snorkeling today which means all of our water plans canceled uh, and instead we're doing some cool walks we've made it to the blowhole yeah. oh, and, the sun's coming back and out. the sun's coming back out so now we'll maybe we'll be, be rainbows all right let's see if we get a rainbow Wow, that one really came for a while. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. 
Like it's it's neat to watch it explode and rain down water. Like a tiny little geyser. Or not so tiny geyser, depending. Wow. Wow. We are walking the Ohana Trail and uh, Kent's guidebook tells us that we should go counterclockwise. And we got to the sign and it has two arrows pointing that way. This one, however, can, can turn. Clearly somebody rotated it to point that way because they also know that although the trail goes both ways, everyone should go this direction. I have no idea what this particular rock is that's very house shaped, but it's cool looking. And there's also a pretty rainbow out here. It's a very picturesque hike we're on. We have finished the trail and for views, I would put this at like a nine out of 10. There were some really, really pretty views. It was very nice. The hike itself was really quite easy, even for me after being exhausted. So that's probably also a nine out of 10. However, the informational signs on this trail, two out of 10. They were all confusing, didn't tell you what you were supposed to be looking at, and the plant ones were the only good ones and they were really sun bleached. I don't know that you can see much of anything, but I am enjoying the beach at night. You can see the moon and, and stars, lots of stars. There are a lot of stars. You maybe can't see all of them because of the moon, but there are a lot of stars. And there's some beautiful ocean waves. Today might have involved less time in the ocean than I usually like, but it was still an absolutely wonderful day. And I am excited to have an equally wonderful day when I see you tomorrow.